I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. What kept you so long? Oh, well, um, I have to go hang out with my friends after office hours. I'll see you tomorrow, Mom. Come, 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 my love. I should have by listen to me. You have to be very careful and come home earlier. The country not safe, security wise. It's okay, Mom. I've heard. Save the sessions for you, okay? I'm a big boy now. Definitely, you're a big boy. But still, be careful. Be okay. careful. All right, I've heard you, Mom, okay? Tomorrow. Okay. Obina. Come, let me just you. No, Mom, I'm really tired now, okay? Now. Guess what? What? Her name is back. I'm open and you need to see her. She's more prettier than ever. And I expect she's as arrogant as ever. Mom, that girl said I should discard my friends. I told you that. Well, that is expected of her. She's just trying to learn her ways. Yes. Cut the crap, Mom. We you and I lived in America too for several years. Helen has just been myopic. Stop making excuses for her. Then why did you try to teach her? Look, I don't know about all that. No, look, I, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying if she has to be my wife, she has to learn manners. Besides, she's too old to be taught how to behave. Obina, why are you talking like this? Look, your dad, Chief Umba, are working seriously, planning for your marriage towards this girl. I don't just sit down and talk anyhow. It's okay, Mom. It's all right. Look, I, I didn't mean to upset you. Okay, I've heard you. I'm just saying the right decision will be taken at the right time. Okay? Now, Mom, I'm really beat. I've had a long day at the office. I need to rest. Please? Hmm? I think you should get some rest yourself. You look tired. Good night, Mom. This meal. <laughs> That's wonderful. Mm. Thank you very much, Chief. Oh, Sweetheart, you're not enjoying the meal. Enjoying this? Hell no. Sorry, did you have some chicken and french fries or something? Mm. Saying down with this mm. stuff really makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Um, baby, well, this is Nigeria, and it's better you start getting used to African dishes. Oh, yes, yes. Ever since she came back, she hardly takes any African dish. Mm. Yeah. So you must have been facing some difficulties in getting her meal over here. Every minute, Caesar's rushing down to Sheraton, Mr. Biggs to source for a meal. <laughs> Quite expensive. And time consuming too, madam. Actually, we are trying to get uh, my continental chef to take care of our meals. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, what an expensive wife you are about to have. But I know you will cope. You're a very hardworking man. Okay. Yeah, tell me about it, Dad. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Could the air conditioner in this room be increased a bit higher? You want it increased? Mm-hmm. It's quite hot in here. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I will get the house help to increase it. Thank you. Yes. Boy, the air conditioner is quite perfect enough, darling. Yeah, it's just fine. I mean, wh why do we have to increase it just because she said so? Is she the only one here? Your case is, right? Yes. All right, Obina, you see. 
uh, she will get used to it. It's all right. I remember she just came down. Yes. yes. So yes. what? We've been there before too. I'll, I'll just probably save you the pain and just use the one in the car. All right. Have a nice time there too. Excuse me. I, um, you know, I was um, uh, browsing through here, apparently, and I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, well, I, I can't seem to be of much service to myself. I'm, I'm trying to find a, a proper card for somebody, so I was wondering if you could help me out. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, thank you. What kind of card, and that depends on who you're sending the card to. Oh yeah. I, my, it's my baby sister's birthday, so I need to find something really unique for her. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's see that one. That would be nice. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey you got great taste. I mean, I'm handbag is sure going trip for this one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The card is um, as beautiful as you. <laughs> you know, um. Mary, I've been coming here for quite a while now, and I know this might not be the proper time, but I was wondering if I I could ask you a personal favor, maybe go if you could find some time to go out on a uh, you know, dinner with me or something. I'm sorry, I don't have dates with strangers. Okay. Well, maybe I'm not a stranger anymore. Yeah, I've been coming here for like four months now. Besides, I we've discussed everything under the sun. And well, I know we've not discussed anything personal. I want us to discuss something else, apart from regular stuff. You know, just you and me. As you can see, my boss is around and, and I've got a lot of things to do. I don't know. Yeah, 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 I can appreciate that fact. But look, I just want you to go out with me on this date. Look. I, I'm not going to try nothing. Cross my heart. And I know it's not going to be possible today, so, so how about tomorrow? I know when you close from work, I'll just come back over there. When you're done with work, you come and I'm going to go. Come on. Uh, well, um, I think you've, you've not paid your bills. <laughs> oh, come on, that's the least of the problem here, okay? And I also take that to be a yes. Tell me to that. It's just one thousand. Just one thousand, man. Okay. Um, one thousand. Have a nice day, Mary. You too. Stay beautiful. Can't you guys just mind your own business? Would you look like an angel? But can I call you an angel, please? Please? If only you would treat me like the angel. Done. It's a deal. <laughs> you know, I feel supreme when I'm close to you. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Tell me anything, I'll listen. Okay? <laughs> um, really, I don't know where to start from. Really, I don't. My story is quite sad. I Start from anywhere. I lost my father so many years ago when I was barely able to make out what he really looks like. And my mother was left with the tax of bringing me up like every other normal kid on the street. But unfortunately for me, he, she also joined my dad three years ago and I was left to my fate. My dad's younger sister took me and saw me through secondary school. But as fate will have it, she lost her husband just three months ago. 
I didn't really want to bother her much after my secondary school. I had to apply as a shop attendant where you eventually met me. But each day passes by with pain and fears of the unknown. My mother's wish and dream for me has ever led me for me to go through school, have best of education and finish up as a lawyer but those dreams and hopes we are buried with it's, her. It's okay. Now listen. Look at me. We're destined to be together. You understand? You're something special. So I'm going to make a proposition for you. Now I want you to give them the chance. In fact, I want the honor to see you through your education, see you through your dreams to be a lawyer, okay? I will not allow your dream die or be buried with your mother. Hmm? Maybe he don't understand. Say, look, I don't want to put you or anyone through the stress of seeing me to the university. I love hey. you, but... Shh. Now listen. I love you. Do you understand that? I've always felt incomplete until I met you. you understand? Obi, I can't believe this is happening to me. I can't believe you're saying this to me, isn't it? Talking to you, Angel. Oh. Hey, 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 it's me. Look at me. What's up? Oh God. Haven't you heard of three being a crowd? Okay, yeah, yeah, I called you, I remember. Your kid sister? Mm-hmm. Oh, so hey, um Me, my heart throb. This is Mary. Mary, I want you to meet my handbag. Hi. Would you? Nice meeting you. Pleasure. Got a cute sister here. Oh, thank you. you. Ah, I've not noticed the cuteness. Um, Miss Obi, mm -hmm. she's really fine. Hey, what did you feel, girl? <laughs> I mean, your brother's got us for the best. Mm, yeah, right. Anyway, are you going to come for my party on Saturday? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, no. Why? Come on, girl. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, Big Bros, where's my ice cream now? Which ice cream? I thought you were supposed to be watching your way. Oh, no. uh, she needs it. You take ice cream, so she needs it too. Uh, please, oh. buy my ice cream for me. <laughs> don't worry, he'll get it. Eh? Okay, okay, you know what? Come on, girl. I'll get the ice cream. Let's get out of here, girl. Damn. Such a sweet girl. Yes, yeah, sweet. I want to be anything for your heart, woman. I will go anywhere to the storm, to the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be. For your love, I want to make it a thing for your love. I had a couple of conferences at the office and I was extremely busy, okay? Man, quit lying. Why aren't you home? Why didn't you call? Look, Helen, like I said, it's been a really, really crazy day at the office. Look at me, I'm a bit 
Don't stress me, okay? Stress you? Obi, we are supposed to be spending time together. I came all the way down to Nigeria specifically for our wedding. And you know it. You know what beats me? Now how can a mind as enlightened, as cultured as yours be so myopic? It's, it's baffling here. No, here. I'm sorry. No offense meant, okay? But haven't you thought of the fact that I mean, it's, it's outrageous our parents should wake up and, and engage both of us just out of the blues like that. Haven't you thought it possible that this kind of love builds over time? 20 years, OB, is over time, okay? I mean, we have matured to the stage of marriage, okay? What, it, what, you don't want me anymore? Is that it? What about the times we spent together? The nights we spent together. She wanted me then, Obi. Oh yes, she did. You know, now is as good a time as any to get this out in the open. Okay? Now listen. <sighs> Girlfriend, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a man now. 28. Okay, look. All that childish tendencies, the crush, the wild time we had together, it's in the past. Look at me, I'm a man. I have my own life, my own style, my own thought processes, so do you. We live in two different worlds now. And we can't just wake up and say so we, we, we are a party to get the kind of arrangements our parents are putting together. You're far, far cultured than that. No, what I really need is it's time. Time to, to go see other people, to, to experiment with life. Other people? Other people, Obi. Is there someone else? There you go again. You're being exactly conclusive, the typical Helen. That's not it. I'm just saying we need to experiment because we're young and we need that kind of chance. I will not be ensnared into a marriage that after a couple of years I know I, I get miserable and I want to get divorced. I don't want that kind of life for myself. I don't know about you. It's not right. Think about it. I'm trying to understand. Okay. Well, obviously you're not trying hard enough, girl. You're young, you're beautiful, you're cultured, you're rich. Why don't you go out there and find yourself another man? Why me? I already chose my man. And that's the problem. You choose. Now nobody chooses me. I make my own choice. And if I say you have a problem with you, it stays that way. You don't go out there and choose a man, Helen. You find one and love him and make sure he loves you back. It's a problem here. Now I've made it clear, I'm going home. I'm really tired, okay? Think about what I said, okay? Come on, take care of yourself. When you calm down, okay? Just calm down. Hmm? I swear, Mom, if he goes on like this, I'd have to go back to the States. Oh, come on, don't talk like this. We all know that Obina is your husband. Even his parents have assured us of that. I'm sure he loves you, okay? Okay. Mom, I went to see him in his office. His secretary told me he was too busy to see me, okay? She kept me there for practically over 30 minutes or something. Well, I got tired of waiting and badged into his office. And oh my God, he was just sitting right there doing absolutely nothing, okay? The worst part is... He screwed at me and asked me why I had to badge into his office like that. Really? How come? God, I have never been so humiliated in my whole life. God, don't worry, okay? Hmm? You're not kidding me, are you? Mummy, what, I'm supposed to lie about this now? He hardly ever touches me. He doesn't kiss me. No nice words. Don't worry. 
Everything will be brought under control, okay? I bet he's seen some cheap, dirty bitch somewhere. Well, he better not let me catch him, because I'll shoot the bastard. Promise. Oh. Welcome, honey. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How was the day? Okay. Angel, what's wrong with my angel? What's wrong with my angel? Darling, you have to talk to the Ojimbats. Eh? I won't take her to any bastard on selling my daughter's emotion. They should be proud to have my daughter as their wife. I mean, they should be honored. Of course they do. <laughs> hmm. Honey, if this nonsense doesn't stop, I'll do nothing. I'll just have to call up the relationship. No, you don't have to. They are just getting to know themselves. You know, they are kids, huh? Honey, talk to Daddy. Come on. Daddy's all out to protect you. Come on. Daddy, Ovi doesn't love me. No. He stands me up on dates. He screams at me and... I don't know, he's becoming too rigid for my liking, that's all. He stood you up on dates? Yes. Can you imagine that? What Arant nonsense, eh? It's okay, hmm? It will not repeat itself again. Hmm? Come on, give Daddy that sweet smile again. Come on. Come on, be a good girl. Hmm? Mm. Okay. Darling, you have to make him understand that the president's son is out to give out his right age just to marry my daughter. Of course they know that. Huh? So I won't take her to any... I don't know, I don't know. No, it's okay, it's okay, huh? it's okay. Yes? Uh, is that Chief Ojimba? Uh, yes. You see, we've been friends for over 20 years running now. You cannot remember we having squabble over any issue all these years, do you? I want you to call your son. Call him. Talk to him the way he has to understand. I won't take kindly to any complaints from my daughter again. Yes. My daughter is too precious to be treated like nobody. You have to let him know this. Tell this to him. Is that okay? Good day, Chivojemba. Oh my God. Can you imagine? How can he be so stupid? I can see that. Yeah, you know what I'm Hey, <laughs> that's the bad. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I pity you. Honestly. Just a pity on you, you know. Mm. I think, I think it's not fair somehow. It's, it's, it's old fashioned. I mean, gone are the days when parents choose husband or wife for their children. It's not obtainable this time. Yeah, well, for me, it's not a case of being old fashioned anymore. It's a case of being a constant pain in the ass. See, you know what? I think the last thing I'll ever allow my parents to do is force a girl of their own choice on me. Man, it's not possible with me. Not at my age. No way. Now, that cogent reason for trying to get me to marry that nitwit is that, I mean, once a case he can cement his relationship with that crazy father of hers. Can you be there? Oh, bro, that's bullshit. I don't think it's fair enough. Yeah, huh? you tell me about it, man. I believe you're not going to accept that. Mm -mm. <laughs> no way. Well, well, well. Well, it's okay, though. I don't understand that. He's even beginning to employ new tactics these days. What? The man threatening to disown me every time I have an argument with him. What? For real? That's, that's unfair. They talk about being unfair. But for me, he, he doesn't understand it. Like Mary is like the air I breathe, you understand? No, she, she's out of this world. I mean, look, Negro, check, check the resume. The girl is beautiful. She's sensitive. I mean, behind closed doors. Ow! That female is the bomb, man! Ouch! <laughs> Man. The nail the head, <laughs> Look, I know. But I, I understand she, I learned she's a dropout. Is it true? Yeah, but I've taken care of that. You know, she, she I enrolled off a part-time course in Unilag. She's studying international law, and she's doing beautiful. Man, it's good. Yeah. Big rest. Hey, 
Hey, hey what you know you? I'm off to the gym. Are you game? Nope. Not with you. Anyway, Saturday is my party. I hope you've not forgotten. How can I? And um, I need to shed some weight off, you know. Keep fit. Yeah. We've heard all that before. Then right after that, you can go back to consuming buckets of ice cream and chocolates. Get serious, fool. Please, can I have your car keys? Sim car keys? The answer is no. Okay? Uh, uh, Press OB. Remember, I'm your kid sister. Your handbag. Now, I'm going to let you use the car on two conditions. What? One, no in the world, I'm going to let you go close to my BMW. Not the Beamer girl, go for bead. I'll give you the key to that. Fucked up all the um, posure that I used to hustle, you know? Why? It's the repping now. The rep what? <laughs> Look at this kid. <laughs> hey, hey, let's check this out. One, girl, your ass is broke. Two, you're my handbag. Three, you ain't got no car. And four, man, you ain't even got no rep, girl. It's all right with you. Don't worry, okay? I'll be your new driving teacher. Uh, that would be nice of you. Okay, Boras, you're darling. Yeah, I'm always a darling when you need to use Bye. me. Bye. <laughs> Man, your kid sister is nice to be with. Yeah, you know yeah. That? And nigga, quit looking at my sister like Hey, I'm take it easy. Yeah, yeah, I can't you jump or lie on whatever they call you. I'll, I'll castrate you. Hey, everybody like angels, okay? My parents are no exception. Come sit down. Come on, sweetie. Young woman. Sir. What did you say your name was? Mary, sir. Mary Obuso. From which tribe? Are you deaf? So which tribe? Delta Ma. You say look to be precise. Who are your parents? Uh, the occupation? And where do they live? Um my, my, my father actually my father <laughs> What are you saying? Talk loud that you can't be singing or mumbling or whispering. We want to hear you loud and clear. My my father was a school teacher before he died some 19 years back. And my mother a petty trader. And she also died three, three years back. So you're an orphan? Yes, sir. But I'm staying with my auntie, my father's sister. Who is this auntie of yours? Uh, she's a petty trader. And we... We, she's my father's sister. We stay at Kiri Kiri, Olodia uh, Papa. You mean Ajogule? Mom. Hello. Ajogule is Ajogule. Our papa is our papa. We do not. Mom, we, we get a picture, okay? So I cannot talk. You talk to your wife, mom. You should not talk. We should not ask questions. I was just marrying us like that. Oh, but you are not. Yeah. I refuse to let you drag my name to the mud. And young woman, I don't want to embarrass you. And son, I advise you not to rely so much on your position as my first and only son in this family. Is that clear? Young lady, the case hasn't told you. He's engaged. What? Yes. So I dream. And it's a pity a dreamer never gets there. A bloody gold digger. <laughs> he is not your ticket out of poverty. But I know that now. So go out and look for your size. Excuse me, ma. No, no, look, wait. <laughs> Ma'am! I don't understand this, both of you. If anything happens to that girl, you know. come back here. Oh. Come back here. We live back. Call your brother back. No. Get out of this place. Come call your brother. No sense. Call him to come back right here. Mom, we are not supposed to embarrass her like that. Yes. Romina, I gave you the opportunity to show us the girl you prefer to marry. But you came up with a poverty student girl with no reasonable background. What is the real problem? Look at your family and your thing. 
Okay, okay, let's understand this. Is it the girl or the background? Look, what are we talking about here? Is it that a man of brat you want me to get married to that is better? Let me tell you, compared to that girl, this one is a gym. And like I said before, here's rule if I don't marry that girl. You're also branded by class. You don't even give a damn about my happiness. Obina. Obina, be careful. And be mindful of how you talk to your father these days. You are a son. We will always tell you the truth. Obina, the area that girl comes from, Aolosu, outcast. Nobody marries from there. And obviously not my son. No. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Is it true? Very true. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, Obina? Obina, please don't kill me. Obina, don't kill me, oh. <laughs> don't you think you're being too harsh on him? Trying to put him right. You should open his eyes. You to go in and explain to him. Talk to him, he's your brother. I know I don't have a weak husband. I know you can do this if you want to. See, Emily, I am doing something. I have told him I don't want to talk about that girl again. And I've also told him that I don't want to see that girl again. I hate you. But you're just trying. It's not enough. I want to see it. I am doing something. Do something. And I will see to it that he doesn't marry that stupid girl. My own outcast. Auntie God knows I love you now. I truly love him. But the embarrassment his parents gave me was just too much for me. <laughs> I mean... The mother went and said, the mother went as far as calling me a gold digger. It was too humiliating. Mary. Too humiliating. Look, it's useless crying over this. It's only natural for parents to be skeptical about their children's choice of spouse. I experienced it myself. Look, before I married my late husband, I went through hell. I went through series of embarrassments. From his people, of course. And I came to realize that it's only natural. Especially with the rich. Once the girl in question is from an average home, they just believe she's a gold digger. That she's out to rip where she has not sown. Hmm? But what did Obina say concerning this? I tried to stop them from embarrassing me, but everything turned out into a shouting match. Why would anyone believe that I'm just left to be not money and not his feelings? I would have been more sure, Auntie. I love you now. Oh, darling, it's okay. I know. Eh? I just told you it's only natural. As long as the love for each other is intact. With time, they will warm up to you. They will come to realize that you are a wonderful child. Hmm? So don't worry yourself. I know you love Obina. And I'm very sure that he loves you too. So come on, give me a smile. Okay? Come on. Let's get something to eat. Do get I really up. feel like... Ah, don't give me that. Don't. I know you've not had anything since morning. Have you? Get up. Hmm? Auntie, you're so wonderful. I would have done without you. Oh, come off it, eh? You know you are my responsibility. And I love you. Come, let's get something to eat. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, my daughter. Happy birthday to you.
When is Obi going to get here? I'm so very soon over here. Very soon. Come, are you enjoying yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come, so are you not drinking? Please have fun. Then. Let's right. have fun. Okay. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure? Is that right? All right, that's why I'm calling me the big man list. Hey, hey, go come over here, Angel. Why don't you take this, okay? And uh, let me drop this. You know what I'm saying? I know you like a serve. Hey, why don't you go get something for my angel to eat? Come on. Mm -hmm. Angel. Angel, or your hope. You heard me, bitch. So who is she? Who is this? Why don't you run along and go play with yourself or something? Get out of here, woman. Come on, baby. Get your ass out of here. Get your hands off Get your stupid. ass out of here before I whoop it for you, you scumbag. What's the stress? Oh, here, here, here. What's this going with you? Are you high in some kind of grass or something? Uh, get your booty out of here, man. Get out of here, woman. What do you think? Crazy? You want to see what crazy is? Stop the music. Stop the goddamn music. Ma! What the hell is going on? Could you please tell this son of a bitch to get this? Keep ass hole out of here before somebody gets hurt. You slut. You tell one you never to step your foot to my house again. Now get out. Look, mom, what is this, eh? Why are you embarrassing her like this? Why do you have to get a woman like that? Why are you embarrassing her? I don't care. Stay away from her. Look, I'm crazy. Crazy. I'm 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 crazy. I'm
Obina. What is the matter with you? What are you doing to yourself? You have refused to talk to me. You have refused to eat. You have refused to converse with anybody in the house. What is the matter with you? All because we mean well for you. You are now our enemy. All because we mean the best. We want the best. We want the best for you. Ebina. Look, Mama, I don't know what you want. I just want to be left alone. You said to bring a girl home. I brought that girl home. Right in my face, you guys embarrass the hell out of that girl. Look, I just want to be left alone in my miserable world, all by my miserable self. I can't handle any more misery. Leave me alone. You can open your mouth and tell me you are miserable. Or because I don't want to, to get married to Anusu. Or to build a gold digger. But she is not a gold digger. I'm experienced enough to know one. What has she done to you? What has she done to you? How she has not cast any spell on you? And let me tell you, she has failed. She has failed absolutely. What do you want people to say when they hear you getting married to a woman that has no background? I say, do hell with people. Do hell with people, mom. Don't you get it? Look, I don't acquire all this education, all these travels, just so that I'll give a damn about what people say. I'm not a conformist. You worry about what people say. Look, I remember, you ain't always rich. You were poor before, mom. You were broke ass. Yeah, I remember, I still have the pictures. You used to tell me stories of how poor you were. So how come you tell me that I can't marry a pop just because she's poor? She's just some kind of subhuman. Look, even if you don't like a personality or something, I could beef it up. That's why I traveled. That's, that's why I, I had all that, all that education. Oh, uh, yes. Obina. Oh, shit. Your mother complained that you refused to eat or do anything in the house, except lock yourself in the room. May I know why? Well, um... Once in a while, when a man is doing normal things and he's not walking out, he tries some strange things. Strange things indeed. Now tell me, son, has my son's decision to do some strange things got anything to do with that daughter of a nobody he wishes to marry? All that is inconsequential now. I just want to be left alone. I just want to know why you guys are bothering me now. Please leave me alone. Obina, you are my first and only son. Myself and your mother here have stopped at nothing in providing you and your sister with all you wanted. You had your first and second degree abroad. But we just love for Nigeria. That is why she's here. But we have planned that her higher institution will be abroad. I have given you people all you needed. I've made you an envy of all kids. Son, I am prepared to die than see my own children live in abject poverty. I did not have the privilege of basking in affluence like you kids. So why can't you appreciate all that by at least listening to us, doing what we wish you to do? Why can't you do that for us, son? Well, look, it's not as if I don't appreciate what uh, you guys have done for me. Okay, I, I appreciate it. It's not, it's, the, the thing is simple. And, and I, 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 I don't want to make it look like you've not gone to a outlandish extent to make you and I comfortable. I know all that. But I need to understand this. It's a picture I'm painting. And, and you don't understand. You've always understood me, Dad. We've always talked. You, you two, Mom. Why, why, is, why is all that changing now? Look, you want to marry that girl? Dad, you're not blind. You know what I'm saying. The same for you, Mom. You, you know what is the matter here. Helen and Bart is not anybody any man want to marry. 
she's selfish she's spoiled she's downright rude and, and she's somebody that no man can call a wife material now you want me to get married to her then after that i'll go have mistresses everywhere and then the inevitable co co confrontation you're avoiding by not marrying her in the first place will come with her father it's unavoidable i will not marry and say i don't love my wife enough and go and divorce later do you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm, I'm screaming for someone to hear me here. Are you aware that I'm eyeing the gubernatorial seat? I mean, have you ever thought of that? Yeah, well, you told me when you came to visit me in New York, you want to be a governor. But what I don't understand right now is what has that got to do with Mary? A lot. Open up. A lot. Hey, Amelia, Amelia, relax. <gasps> I will tell you what it has got to do with Mary. <laughs> well, you are aware that uh, Tifumba is the special advisor to the governor. I want to remind you again. Our decision to get you and Helen married as husband and wife started in the early days of our relationship by way of business partnership. It was just a joke, but uh, as time progressed, we realized that it's realizable. At least it will mark the bond between us. Now my son wants me to go back to Chief Mba and uh, tell him that my son has seen a girl he loves, somebody very beautiful to marry. How do you think Chief Mba will feel? Don't you think that will jeopardize my chances of realizing my long-standing ambition of becoming the governor? Or worse still, launch a strong opposition against me? Don't you think so, son? Well, on that account, Dad, I think you're wrong on three accounts. Yeah. But firstly, if you think um, getting married to Helen is going to guarantee you a seat with the governor, uh, to be a governor, that's wrong. Chief Mba is not, kind of, not that kind of kingmaker. He's making empty promises, Dad. And then secondly, the people, the people count. That's what I know. That's why it's called democracy. If the people want you, they will have you. You will win if the people want you. It's not Chief Mbada will make you win. You shut up, your man. Keep quiet. I am giving you 14 days to think about it. Marry Helen Mba and inherit all my vast companies, lands and properties, or lose all. That I'm paramount. I'm your son, all right? Chief Mbad, just your friend. Think about your son. Open up. Yeah. Open up. Open up. You want to disappoint it yourself? Because of one stupid one, go for nothing, girl? Open up. Open your eyes and see. Stop yelling, mom. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. You're not listening well. I'm telling you again. This miserable good for nothing girl is my life now, Mom. I don't think you get it. You better follow that and tell him the truth. The truth is that I'm prepared to disown all of you if I don't marry that girl. So get into your head now. I'm good. What have I done? What does that mean to me? God help me. What has he done to my son? What? Amina! Ever since Helen got back from the States, he seemed to have gotten worse. Specifically my mother. I don't know why she's so hell bent on me marrying that girl. That is it. That is it, Obina. How could she have asked you to get more serious if there hadn't been any commitment? Obina, you've been deceiving me. How could you have done such to me? I, 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 I didn't know. Look. If I had any ulterior motive, all right? Now, why would I invite you home to, to, to dinner with my parents to tell them that it's you I want to get married to? Okay, how about, how about you juice party? I'm not clairvoyant. How am I supposed to know how I was going to break loose? What's any of this? It is very clear that your parents don't want me as a daughter-in-law. And I can't be a party to a man who is so biased. You've not been fair to me. I, I, I don't understand why you're saying all this. Dad gave me 14 days to, to marry her when he's going to disown me. 
and, and I'm prepared to get this on if it means living the rest of my life with you. Angel, I love you. I, I can't think about any other thing but, but you, okay? I'm going crazy. Please don't do this to me now. Robina, listen. I, I love you very much. I like you deeply, but just look at me. I think it would be better if we pretend we never met. And better still, let's give ourselves a break. It would do me a lot of good, Obina. Okay. I mean, I've given up everything for you. I am prepared to disown my own family just to be with you. And now that I need you more than anything, you're turning your back on me. Tell me, what more kind of sacrifice do you want from me? Angel, Angel, please. Angel, please. I love you. You can go. Angel, please. Oh, now you can go, okay? I've had enough pains. Just leave me alone and go, okay? I, I have nothing left. I have nowhere to go. Please, don't do this to me, please. In God's name. Okay, now go. Go, please. Please go. Okay. Um. Before I go, I, I just want you to know that I'm going to love you forever. And. Go, please. Okay. For your love, I will do anything. For your heart, oh, I will go anywhere. To the storm, to the storm, through the fire, anything just to be with you. For your love, I will do anything. For your heart, oh, I will go where are you going to? Well, um, <clears throat> I'm going to Jago's place for a short visit. Oh, come on, press OB. You hardly talk to anyone these days. You don't even ask of me. I understand that it's been nasty, but please don't take it too hard on yourself. Look, it's okay. It's just that I'm not happy here, baby. I need to go somewhere where I can sort my feelings out, where I can think. I know life here is unbearable these days, eh? Anyway, promise to take care of yourself for me. Nah, I always do. Okay. I'll miss your handbag. I'll miss you too. Okay. Don't go see me today. Don't forget. Okay. Don't tell me good. I'll miss you, baby. For your love, I won't do anything. For your heart, woman, I will go anywhere. To the storm, to the storm, through the fire, through the fire. Anything just to be. For your love, for your love. Oh, oh, I want to do anything for your morning anywhere. <laughs> now listen up you cheap dirty asshole you probably got your brains in your ass or something but it's all good i don't care just stay away from my man okay obi is my man go find yourself some other gold mine to dig from scumbag excuse me young lady i don't think i have any problem with you obi and i love each other and if you have a problem with that then you go jump into the lake is that clear now because it got close anyway we'll see who gets into the lake first bit Listen, if you think you have everything it takes to get him and he's coming after a child tried like me, then you go check yourself up. You rubbish. Your mama. It's all good, bring it on. Watch your back, bitch. Is it a crime to be poor? Is it a sin to be an orphan? Life has not been so fair to me. Don't talk like that. Honey, Life don't talk like that so again. Fair. You are precious. It's, it's a pity that Obina's parents are self-centered. They've refused to see beyond their nose. 
I try as much as possible not to think of Fobina. But each time I try hard, I fall for him. My spirit yearns for Obina. My soul thirsts for him. For five days now, I've not set my eyes on him. It's not fair. <laughs> life is not just being fair. My life is empty without him. I feel so empty. <laughs> oh God. Lord, why me? <laughs> I'm so me. Why me? I feel so much pain. <laughs> Hi, so. Sir, so, you're not looking too pleasant. Sorry, now. I don't know who that is. Hey, come on. You look like someone I know from somewhere. Mary is your name, right? Sorry, now. Hello? Come on, listen to me, Obi. I don't like what you're doing to yourself, man. You want to kill yourself because of some girl? You want to die because of Mary? Okay, we've been to her house and the auntie told us she's not there. We've gone to the campus, we've gone to her working place, we can't find her. Listen, don't you think she's avoiding you? What makes you think she cares? See, Obi, you've got to think and you've got to be reasonable. I mean, I want you to forget the... You need to see her. We turned down to a beast. <laughs> no right man. In his right sense. We'll go for her. Ah, baby girl, can we have our dough? I guess so. It's about time. In. Nice work. Cool. Anytime, any day, baby girl. We got your back. Whenever. <laughs> it's it's not bad. Baby's not bad, man. I'm glad you don't know your size. Watch your pretty go key. You see this guy? Man, don't go look past your eyes. Man. Oh, yeah. My giant chief. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello? 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 You again? What do you want here? What are you doing here? I, I know your parents are very rich. And Mary, she's just a poor orphan. So please leave her alone. I only thank God that you people did not kill her for me. Just go. Get out and go. Auntie, you have every right to be upset. Madam, what was the aggression for? I, I just want to see Mary. Like you don't know. Somebody attacked her with an acid yesterday. Acid? Who, who could have done something like that? Uh, where is she? She okay? Of course she's okay. Very okay. With half of her face burnt. She's okay. All thanks to you. Just look at me, okay? I, I couldn't have done anything like that. I love that girl. I, I love her more than my, my own life. And my father has threatened to disown me if I go ahead and marry Mary, but I don't really care. If, if having Mary means losing my inheritance, I still consider it a very small price to pay. You're angry, but let's be logical. My baby's somewhere suffering and she needs me. Please, take me to the hospital. Please. Okay. I'll take you there. But I just hope I'm doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. Believe me. Let me get my bag. Please hurry, Auntie, hurry. 
Because of me. Listen, Obina. I think it's high time we call it a quit, okay? I'm scared of my life and I don't want. I wonder how many much attacks awaits me, okay? Don't, don't talk like this, okay? Please don't talk like this. I'm suffering too. Look. How bad is the bones? Well, well, the doctor said she'll be fine. I'm taking responsibility of every bill she incurs here. I think there's some kind of corrective surgery they have to perform or something. You can't just burn or no burn. I'm going to stay by you through this. We'll see you through together, okay? I'm really getting tired of all this happening in this country. The so-called rich pushing around the small ones. Look, I don't want any more attack on my girl. She's all that I have. And she's the only survivor of her late parents. Brother, die if anything happens to her, she's going to be right. Who is this young man? His name is Obina. She's for Jimba's son. So you are the one causing these attacks on my late brother's daughter, eh? Listen, young man. I don't want to know who you are, or what you are, or where you came from. I want you right from this moment to stay away from her. Don't you even near her. Don't you even breathe whenever you see her. Do you understand my language? I, I do. Now, see, sir, I'm not responsible for this. I, I'm, I'm not aware of it. Just, just give me a chance to show you how, how much I love Mary. I'm, Young man, I am losing my patience. If I lose my temper, I'm going to throw you out of this place. Will you leave this moment? Now! Okay, I'll go. Just give me a chance to pay the hospital bill, please, sir. I'm no way, young man. We don't need your ill-gotten money. You can give it to the beggars. Get out! Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, what's up? Look, don't hold me. What are you crazy? You're here watching TV and you nearly made the girl out there with acid. What the hell is the matter with you? drink? What the hell are you talking about? What I'm talking about? But look, you Christ, what the hell is the matter with you? Look, do I look like I'm the only man out there? Why don't you go out and get one of your brats or something? Look, I've made it clear to you. You don't have to go oh, around like that! The shut up, man. Cut the bullshit out, Obi. Listen, if I don't have you, nobody else will. Especially not that brat. Well, I don't think you can. You are the bitch. A man, I don't want you! How dare you call me a bitch? That whore you got there calling your love is a bigger bitch. And I will slap you again, too. Fine! Get out! Stupid bitch! What to kill my daughter in my house? Don't you know when you have for a daughter the world before what time is this? What is she gonna attack in the poor girl? I've said it before I said it again, man, I don't wanna. Get out! I'll go. Get out of my house soon! You don't have to laugh at me. How dare you? You and your people will hear from my husband. I'll kill her! I swear I'll kill her! Idiot! You see? Darling, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Be mad! Anytime I see you, I always give God the glory. You are beautiful. Thank you. Now tell me something. Do you have a boyfriend? 
No, not really. <laughs> not really. Are you sure? Yes. I just have a friend. You see? You see what has happened? You see what has happened? That evil girl, see what she's done? Woo! Helen! Helen went the fuck as in a marriage! It's a lie! I hope that's not happening. I like that girl. What do you mean she's lying? I'm lying! What? Did you see her doing it? That girl is lying in hospital. We have her face blood. And you're telling me that I'm lying! Which hospital is she at in? She's in St. Anne's Hospital. Look, you see what you've done? I hope you're happy. You and Dad, I hope you're happy. Because if anything happens to that girl, I'm going to kill Helen. Ah! I'm in now! I'm not doing this, Dad. Mom. Huh? I have to go and see her. Are you coming? Wait for me, I'll go with you. Take heart, my dear. Okay. You're not empty. Dry all your tears. 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 Well, it is not our fault. One, Obina is no more in the house. He is nowhere to be found. I'm so confused now that um, his father is threatening to uh, disown him. All because of you. And this is really tearing my family apart. Mom! Yes. Now, young lady, I've come to compensate you, to give you money. One, for being attacked because of Obina. Two, for you to leave my son alone so that we can live like... I think you should understand that no amount of your money can cover for her emotions. You rich people don't have manners. Now please leave with your money. Mom, yes. Mom, did you come for this? Is she not poor? Listen, madam, what your son and I feel for each other is true love. I'm not after your money, but I'm after your materialistic possession. I love Obina, and that's all, okay? Look, madam, thank you for your offer, but we're not collecting it. Now please leave, because her uncle is very fiery, and he will disrespect you when he meets you here. Thank you. I think you have to rethink your decision over. There's nothing to rethink. Opportunity comes at once. Indeed. Please go. Okay. Would you? Mimi, I'm sorry for what you Don't be annoying, okay? Sorry. I have to go now, okay? So Obina can do this to my daughter. After all, I told the father, I'm going to deal with him. I will deal with him. What? Uh, Chief, uh, I don't understand what you mean. Obina has the guts to come and beat my daughter in my own house. After telling you to tell him not to hurt my daughter. Is he insane? Uh, Chief, I apologize on his behalf. There's no apology that will make me forgive anybody that hurts my beloved daughter. Yes! No, 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 Chief. It's not what you think. Listen, Obina has abandoned his home, his office, since I threatened to disown him. I, look, as I time I finish with him, I, 
a chief. Chief! Woman, what food have you been feeding your son with lately? Same food I've been serving everybody. I don't think so. Yes, I don't think so. Listen, if you don't convince that your son to rescind his decision, just be prepared to pack your things and join him in exile. Me too, Dad. No, it has not got into that. Daddy. I want to see her in the hospital. Even to offer a compensation money. But she refused. And don't you think Chief Mumba is taking this thing too far? Because he's among the kingmaker and the party. And Obina may be right after all. What? Is that what you're saying? Just look at it this way. Look at the situation. By next year, I become the governor. And you become the first lady. So you want that son of yours to throw away this dream? Dad! Yes! I see it as a selfish tendency. Come to think of it. When you wanted to marry mom, did anybody stand between your way? Ah! Give me. Mom, I'm leaving as well. No, I didn't. Come back. So I'm not like, Hey, handbag, what are you doing here? What are you carrying a big suitcase for? What's up, girl? Got to leave the house. Dad has really gone out of his mind. Him and Mom are always having this fierce quarrel. He threatened to send Mom packing, and when I protested, he slapped me. That hit you? Chuck, what can you pick? This man's never done it like that. Christ. What the hell is happening? See, I... I think... I think this, this love and relationship thing is, is tearing your family apart. It's already torn apart. Dad doesn't want to listen to anyone. All he dreams about is one day he'll become a governor. This is selfish interest, for God's sake. All these politicians, huh? See, Obi, you know what I think? I think, I think you and you just should just go back home to your parents and talk some sense into them. I mean, they're human beings. They should reason with you. You can't allow this to go on like this. Reason? What are you saying, Jago? Look, a man that degenerates to the point of hitting his own daughter, threatens to kick his wife out, and disowns his son is reasonable. When I say that is way out of redemption, now, come on, the man has gone crazy. I ain't playing that. Hey, how about his um, great friendship? About how, how is has he taken all this? He calls several times. Please, okay, Auntie, please, you've got to help me. Look, I went to the hospital, and none of the nurses had the uncle's address. They told me she's been discharged. Look, don't bother going there. Her uncle is very hot-tempered. He might shoot you. Look, I, I, I don't care. Look at me. Do I look like I give a damn, Auntie? Please, I'm ready to take the risk. You've got to help me. Okay. The address is number 30, Nuro Niwo Aguda. I know the place. I know number the street. Number 30, Nuro Niwo Aguda. I know the street. Thanks, thanks. Yes, yeah, Sweezy. Uh, hey, Mary, it, it's me, Obi. I need, I, I need to talk. I can just see how your face was. I, I, you see, I, I've just concluded plans to take handbag you and me back to the States. Look, it's a place I'm comfortable with, and I know you're going to be just fine. Okay, everything will work out just smooth. Just trust me. Listen, Obina. I came for you to take some pictures, some photograph pictures, and, and that's all I need, and all the plans will be on ground, okay? It's over between us. And let's just assume we never met each other. I need my safety, and it matters to me a lot, okay? Well, look, don't be like that, okay? You don't have to be cold to me. Look, I, 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 know, I know where you're coming from. I can appreciate that, okay? It's, it's Helen, right? Look, I, I'm happy to tell you Helen is not in our lives anymore. 
that's why girl i've taken care of, of that and i told them not to many brothers that look she she should she should just stay the hell away and and i, I know she got the message she, she knows i can act crazy too okay look girl it's it's all over i just need you to understand what is happening all right just come with me come with me i'll make you happy they, they even Mary! Have to Shit, your uncle's coming. Shit. You, AK! Good evening, sir. This time in my house, you have the infantry to enter into my house! So, so, so look, I have some logical explanation as to what's going on. Logical! Yes. Just wait for me! Don't go about this way. Just give me a minute to explain what's going on. Yes, I'll give you an hour. Just wait for me. Obina, 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 if there's anything you will do to show little respect to my uncle now, is to please leave. Look, I need to explain to the man. Look, let me talk to him. Let me talk to him, okay? Look, babe, I, I, I know. I know. But let me talk to him. I know what I'm doing. Look, it's the only chance I have to explain this to him. I came to you. Mary, please, okay? We can work this out. Where is it? I said, where is it? The girl in question had a face surgery and she looks even better. Um, so what do we do? Well, I guess the bitch is better off dead. Yeah, dead. Dead. Ever killed before? Eh? <laughs> Enough, that Yeah, we, <laughs> we're killers. <laughs> you know? we're, 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 we're serious killers. We're serious killers. We're killers. We're killers. killers. How much will killers. it cost? Hundred grand, no more, no, no, no less. less, no less. Change. Anyway, fifty now, and fifty when the job is done. <laughs> Don't fuck me up, man. Fuck you up. Hey, she's dead. She consider your job. No second chances. Second chances. Uh, Natural bone killers, man. Killers. 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 man. So good. Yeah, tell me about it. I said, where is Uju, man? Look, I found this in her room. She has moved all her things out. What? What is the genesis of all this revolution, woman? What are you trying to do with your children? What am I trying to do with my children? Yes! What are you trying to do with your own children? Look at you! You want to govern your own state. You can't even govern your own home front. What do you mean by that, Emilia? You agreed to it, woman. If I asked you to, to put your hand to the fire, will you do it? When Obina says no, why didn't you put his opinion to consideration? Just look at you. Look at who? Look at yourself! Emilia. Yes? I'm surprised, Emilia. Emilia, what are we going? Yes? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Yes, Chief Ojimba here. Uh, uh, listen, 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 Chief. I cannot understand what actually your daughter wants. How can she go and organize with some boys to pour acid on that innocent girl? When a girl loves a man, she can do anything. Uh, Chief, to be honest with you, this proposal is tearing my family apart. Yes! Oh, even politicians have gotten their homes broken too. I'm not one of such politicians. I'm not! Chief, please do me a favor. Gently persuade your daughter to forget Obina. Yes, 
She doesn't deserve all this pressure I'm facing now, right in my house. Chivojimba, my daughter is no longer interested in your son. Yes? Yeah, she'll be, she'll be back to New York by next weekend. <sighs> Can you imagine the humiliation Chivojimba is giving to me? Ellen, you'll be leaving for New York by this weekend. Is that okay? No, Daddy, I can't. I have things to do by the weekend. Listen, my dear. You have to go back to New York, okay? I'm sure there's somebody out there who will value you. That boy isn't worth the problems. Okay? No, you know you're a very beautiful girl. Tell him never to call this house again. <sighs> uh, not my children. Let me rest first. What? We are going to look for them now. Give me a break, woman. Give me a break? If you don't look for my children, I have to roll. I'm telling you. Well, if I don't have Obin, that girl won't have him either. Ellen, like it or not, you are leaving for New York this weekend. Period. I'm sure you meet some guys out there who will, who will take you for what you are. Okay? Don't worry. Forget about him. It's not worth the problems at all. Before this girl, like, I'm there. The heat time. What are you shaking me up now? Kokata! Keep out of them! Keep out of them! Oh, slow, man! Man, you're too slow now! You're too slow, man! You're fucking up, man! You know me, man! You're too slow now! I'm a killer, man! I'm a killer! Take my money, yo! Look, look, see, hi. She's just lucky to God. We saw her fine, fine. Had a very perfect aim, my aim, and I was about pulling Make the trigger. Shut the fuck up and hand me my dope. Now, Helene, you just have to be patient with us. Give us some more time. <laughs> Give us some more time. Time, time, we'll time. Get her. Mojo says you guys are supposed to be the best on campus. We are still the best! Man, you guys are a bunch of gigs. Damn. I mean, because you can't even kill a single girl? What? See, we'll go back there later in the day today. And this time, she's dead. We promise. I'm going to finish that girl. I'll finish that bitch. Ayo, I don't want promises, okay? I just want the job done. Fine. You can't do it. You hand me my dough and I find somebody more competent for the job, isn't it? We assured you this time around, she's dead. Fine now. She's finished. I'll kill that girl. I'll kill that girl. Just give me, just give us a few hours. Geeks. Whatever. Hello, remember all the guy you're back. Anytime, any. <laughs> What is that? What is going on? Who said you got right now? Some people shot him, officer. Some people shot Joe. You all are under arrest now. Come here. Come here. Officer, wait. Come here. 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 <laughs> Bros Obi, what are we going to do? We can't keep on running away from our problems. You're right there, baby. Okay, you know what? Just give me a couple of weeks. If I can patch it up on mom will and dad will, I'll take you and Mary back to the States. Obina, thank God you are here. There was a shootout yesterday and Mary has been arrested as the mother suspect. What? Jaguar! 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 Mary's been arrested as a murder suspect. I, I, I don't know what for. We have to go to the station, okay? Where are my khakis, girl? Yeah, yeah. Jaguar! Don't worry, 
job, but what are you bringing in the world? Let's go. I don't know, say this guy don't be criminal. Better touch you. Go and see who's inside. Uh, which way? Officer, she is not a killer. All these things happened in front of my house. Please, let me just see her. I beg you. Oh, no. Mr. Coley, you cannot see a suspect held under police custody uh, in a scene of crime. Muscle, you have to give the policeman handling the case enough time to finish your investigation. Officer, these are her friends. Good evening, officer. You are all welcome. Well and this is my sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, ha have you seen her? It has been very impossible to see her. Um, uncle. Um, with your permission, I would like to get my father involved in all this. Or at least he has the influence to make a difference. You can go ahead and call. Who is your father, by the way? Uh, well, my father is Chief Ejiba. Chief Ejiba? Yes, sir. Uh, go ahead, please. Okay, thank you. Hello? Chief Ejiba here. Um, I I'm at the police station right now. I have a little problem. Obina! 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 Hey, Obina! Mom, give the phone to Dad. Mom, please! Your daddy! Obina! Hey. See, your mother is here. Where are you? Please, we want you to come home this minute, son. No, no, it's about Mary. She's been held here for a crime she did not commit. She's innocent. Look, Dad, if I'm your son and you really love me, this is the time to show it. I need you. Don't cry, madam. I won't cry. I don't really know this thing they're stepping today now. Better tell me to know. You are a poor side set. What's your name? My name is Mary Obuso. Speak louder now. It's the Ma Mary Obuso. Why are you leaving? Number 23 Fifth Avenue, West Park. Where are you working? I'm a student and shop attendant. Want me to slap you? No, no, sir. I do know. See, I know that people kill your brother. You, you know they're among us. I don't know. Better tell me to go out is it true, officer? I am putting this aside now. Officer, please, I'm in. Tell me true now. Is it true that the lady here is not? Talk to you. Better tell me true now before I put this aside now. Hey, Chine. Officer. Stand up. Is it true that the lady here is not? Put it up. 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 Police. 
said that she come and stay with you. There's no need. Um, and she's been acquitted. They, they found the real criminal that shot the guy. No, no, Harry. More, more, more way that can explain. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Mary, please come. Baby, too. Please, baby. Come. Mary, please, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Mom, what's happening? Mary's uncle. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. And please forgive us. Please. Thank you. Mom, what's happening? What's, what's up? Your dad and myself, we have decided to accept your woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mom, mm -hmm. yes. I'm crazy yes. about you. <laughs> Wait, it's not one of your pranks, right? No, honey. I uh, declare my unflinching support for both of you. You can go ahead and marry no. Whoa! I need you to let go. Nobody's above the law. Okay, okay. Get fine. The car. Oh, my, my father will pay you. He'll pay you whatever you need, okay? Well, um, you know what? Let's be nobody's above the law. Understand? <laughs> Do it to me. If my mother disagree, I will always love you. If my father disown me, I will still love you. Say I don't care what people of the world will say. Yeah, they will care. I will love you ever die for my life.